Here's your forecast from the First Alert Weather Team. All right, over the next 24 to 36 hours, we do expect potential tropical cyclone 4 to get a little better organized. It's currently moving over the island of Cuba, so probably not a lot of organization expected over the next uh, 12 hours, but eventually it will find itself out in the very warm waters just off the southwest coast of Florida. And at that point, it should have the potential to strengthen probably sometime during the day tomorrow, possibly becoming Tropical Storm Debbie. But for the moment, west northwest movement at 16 miles per hour, 21.4 north, 78.3 west. And of course, if this gets a name, as I said, it will get the name of Debbie. Now, uh, again, it is forecast to make that transition to a tropical depression and possibly even a tropical storm uh, by the time it makes it landfall in Florida. And then notice it is expected to slowly make its way up across the coast of Georgia and the Carolinas. And this is all the way into the middle part of next week. A very slow moving system, unfortunately. Steering currents right now in the atmosphere very weak over the uh, Carolinas. And they certainly will be weak as we head into next week as well. And that kind of is could be conducive for a very slow moving uh, tropical system of some kind. Now again, how strong it gets is really going to depend on a couple things. Is it going to track more over land uh, like the uh, hurricane centers depicting or it will track a little bit further offshore. If it's able to track a little further offshore, it may even have the potential to reach hurricane status, but I still think the big issue with this system, in addition to the marine impacts, is going to be the possibility of heavy rainfall. Where have we heard that before? And maybe even the potential of some river flooding down the road. Not Maybe not quite the totals we saw with Matthew and Florence, but, but a very significant storm system indeed for much of next week. 79 degrees for the low night. We've already seen some isolated storms. Could see a few more before the evening and overnight is out. 91 for your high on your Saturday. 40% chance of a shower and thunderstorm. And needless to say, in the days ahead, these rain chances will climb quite a bit more. First floor digital Doppler. We have a couple of showers right now, mainly over Sampson County. You can see some wet weather around Clinton stretching down uh, towards the Garland area <coughs> in Sampson County. As we take a look at the uh, bigger picture, you can see big storms earlier. Uh, again, these uh, storms prompting warnings uh, over in Bladen County. We even had one warning earlier today around 1 o'clock hour in New Hanover and uh, Pender County. But things seem to be quieting down for now. Hour by hour forecast model kind of suggesting we may have uh, quieter conditions. It looks like for the evening hours and then as we head into uh, tomorrow, maybe even overnight, we may start to see a few showers and storms redevelop. Not likely to be severe, but they certainly could be a bit on the strong side. Much of tomorrow quiet, but Look for more storms to develop, but certainly tomorrow will be one of the drier days we have around here for quite some time. As I said, this is the big concern when we're talking about uh, the potential of what could be Tropical Storm Debbie spinning uh, around our coast for several days. The potential of some very significant rainfall totals. Now again, look at this. The computer model suggesting particularly coastal areas could easily pick up over six inches of rainfall. Even inland areas, probably anywhere between three to five inches of rain. Certainly some isolated areas, depending on where the heaviest tropical band set. Wouldn't be surprised if one or two spots pick up as much as 10 inches or more of rain. That will cause localized flooding. That will cause ponding on the roadway flash floods and probably eventually some river flooding as well. And again, this is going to be all the result of that slow moving system that could hang around for much of next week. Here's your seven day forecast. Uh, 91 for tomorrow, 87 on Sunday. Now, right now we're going to have the first alert tag Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We're still trying to fine tune the forecast, but would not be surprised if we have to issue some first alert action days next week. So stay tuned as we uh, fine tune this forecast. But no, much of next week could be quite wet. And again, marine impacts in the form of uh, uh, big, large waves, of course, uh, high risk of rip currents, just all kinds of marine issues in addition to the heavy rainfall. And, you know, we continuously say get those hurricane kits ready. Yes. And this is a great example. If you're heading out this weekend, get that kit this ready. This is why we've been telling you for weeks and weeks. I mean, this thing could sneak, could, these things can sneak up on you very quickly. But if you haven't stocked your hurricane survival kit, now is the time to do it. Do it this weekend. All right, and all eyes are going to be on that system, too, as it moves up. Eric, yes. thanks so much. Well, New Hanover County's Public Library would like to help you build your own library at home. So it's semi-annual books.